students how are you okay i hope you all are fine okay let's start today's class are you ready yes okay children in the last class we had learned about parts of speech right yes parts of speech how many parts are there yeah there are eight parts then which are they can you say which are those parts yes noun pronoun yeah adjective verb adverb preposition conjunction and interjection okay there are eight parts of speech the first one is noun then pronoun adjective verb adverb preposition conjunction and interjection okay children i hope you had learned those parts the name of names of those parts by heart okay ready yes today in this class let's learn about nouns nouns so as we know what is the meaning of nouns nouns means namangal that means we had learned in previous classes first and second classes standard we had learned nouns noun is a naming word okay noun is a naming word in previous classes we had learned okay children let's learn these nouns in detail in this class okay so children uh, nouns nouns i told you in the beginning nouns are naming words that means it may be the name of person name of place name of thing name of animals or birds okay so naming words yes name of place name of thing name of person name of animals or birds okay then let's say uh, i think you have textbook with you then in our now text textbook let's take the unit number 4 so in unit number 4 we can see these uh, things a noun is the name of the person okay let me repeat once again the definition for noun a noun is the name of person place animal or thing okay let's by heart now itself yes ready what is noun yes just say with me a noun is the yes repeat a noun is the name of person yes you can see in your textbook yes person place animal or thing okay let me write one example here nilu is a young girl children see nilu is a young girl nilu is a young girl see nilu let me underline this nilu okay then girl see nilu is a name of a person okay then small a small kid we can call girl girl so in this sentence we can see two nouns clear in this sentence we can see two nouns which are they nilu and girl so that means naming words may be name of person name of person so this is name of a person okay then girl 
girl is another noun girl is another noun okay let me um, take place then where we uh, where do you live we live in kutika or we live in modirakanni or we reside reside at a uh, pariyara so then our school is very big so the near the words kutikar modirakanni pariyaram or chalakudi or school so these words are name of place name of place so these name of places the names of places we can call noun so kutikar is a noun school is another noun modirakanni is another noun okay so we it, the, the nouns are place of names of places names of places we can call nouns clear so first we can yes noun this is nilu is a noun name of person then as i told you yes kutikar is another noun that is kutikar is name of place name of place next one animal can kill
circle chain. Not a noun. Noun allah to the circle chain. Let me say the first one. Chair, bed, table, sleep, sofa. Okay children, which is not a noun? No doubt. Sleep is not a noun. Right? Rest of the words are name of things. Right? Chair is a name of thing. Bed is a name of thing. Table is another name of a thing. Sofa is a name of thing. Then, which is left? Yes, sleep. Sleep is not a noun. So, you can put circle. Okay? So, in this way, I think you can do it yourself. Exercise number A. Clear? Let's move to the B. Exercise number B. Pick out the nouns from the following sentences and write them below. Pick out the nouns. See, some seven sentences are given there. Seven sentences are given there. Then take each sentence and pick out the nouns. Which are the nouns? Just pick out and write the blank space. Okay? First one, let me say for you. The moon goes around the sun, earth. The moon goes round the earth. Okay? How many nouns are there? Yes, moon. Moon is a noun. Right? Then, goes is not a noun. Round is not a noun. Then, let me take. Yes, earth is another noun. Okay? Moon and earth. So, in this way, you can do that, that exercise. I hope you will do. Next one, exercise number C. Here are groups of nouns. Add one more to each group. See, some groups are given there. The first one is a group of birds. Can you write another bird's name there? Yes. Next one is? Yes. Fruits. Group of fruits. You have to write one more fruit there. Okay, in this way, brother, sister, uncle. So, relation. So, you can write one more relation there. So, in this way, you can do that. Exercise number D. Fill in the blanks with suitable nouns given in the pictures. So, pictures are given there. Uncle, plants, grandma, cobbler, monkeys, market, cat, school. So, pick out the right noun and fill the blanks. Okay? Pick out the correct noun and write them. Okay, children? Ready? So, this is very simple. You can do this exercise very easily. Okay? I think you don't, uh, you, no need to, no need of any help. Right? So, no problem. Just do it yourself, children. Do it yourself. Then after doing this exercise, then I will send the answer key. Okay? So, before that, you have to do this exercise yourself. Okay? Children? So, once again, let me repeat what we learned today. Yes, nouns. The first part of parts of speech. Noun. Noun means noun. Noun, uh, what is the definition of noun? Noun, yes. See, a noun is the name of the place, person, place, animal or thing. Just read your textbook at least 10 times. Do the exercise in time. Okay? Okay, children. See you in the next class. Let me wind up today's class. Thank you.